<laughs> Do you feel somewhat vindicated, Jack, after all these years of preaching this and seems like the world's coming around to you? Well, I guess vindication is a good word for it. I never sought vindication because I knew I was right. Hmm. You know, the index fund delivers your fair share of the market return to investors. And I mean, I'm, I'm going to guess that 300 people around here today have thanked me already. And only 299 of them wanted a, a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. Um, what happens when the whole investing world becomes an index? Can, can there be too much indexing, and what would that do to returns? Well, in number one, if everybody indexed, the only word you could use is chaos, catastrophe, whatever. There would be no trading. There'd be no way to convert a stream of income into a, a pile of capital or a pile of capital into a stream of income. The markets would fail. Now, what's the chance of everybody indexing? It's zero. And at what point then, maybe is a more realistic question, indexing is around 23 or 4 percent of the U.S. stock market today. Uh, could it get to 50 percent without having any uh, bad, bad consequences? Easily. We have too much trading in the market. The index really just neutralizes X percentage of the market, 25 percent or 50 percent, and it's just those stocks don't get traded. So the other stocks would be traded, and the market would go on as ever, and uh, might get a little less efficient. But if it gets a little less efficient, and some managers can win by more, some managers will lose by more. This is the equation. <laughs> so I don't, I'm not concerned about it. It's going to take a long, long time to get anywhere near 50 percent. And uh, things will change a lot in a lot of other ways by then. Do you have any idea what percent uh, it becomes dangerous? And I, I, I think you could easily be at 75 percent and not have it become dangerous. But dangerous in what sense? Uh, you know, the markets are going to be efficient as long as there are, you know, managers or investors who are trying to find little holes in the system and create value, discover value, price discovery, as they call it. And so I, I don't worry about that. And uh, I, I meant not to be too negative about it, but it's certainly not going to happen during my lifetime. <laughs>